But let's concentrate on the aviation space. Spice Jet is in focus and under pressure. This is after the DGCA extended its cap on its flights. Sources suggest that the company may hike staff salaries. That could possibly be a reprieve in terms of operations. Sonia, tell us more. So, you know, the reason why the stock is down today is because, as you said, the DGCA has now extended its flight cap. So, the DGCA has told SpiceJet that they can operate only 50% of their approved flights till October 29th. And that's because of enhanced surveillance. Now, they're losing out on a lot of business. You know, this is at a time when there's such a big recovery, such a big travel boom. Uh, so, other players will obviously benefit from this uh, cap that uh, the DGC has put on SpiceJet's flight. Now, the carrier, the SpiceJet carrier has been facing acute liquidity crunch, as we know. Uh, it's been on for a while. Uh, they sent 80 pilots on leave without pay for three months as a temporary measure to cut costs. Uh, and there is no recapitalization plan in place. But sources also suggest that SpiceJet has now announced a 20% salary hike for pilots from October. This follows a 6% hike in salaries last month. And a significant portion of their Provident Fund, PF, will also be credited. Now, this is very confusing because on one hand, they've asked 80 pilots to go on leave without pay to bring down costs. On the other hand, they're saying that, you know, they've announced a 20% salary hike for the other pilots. So, this seems to be a bit of like a damage control move. Overall, it's still very, very crunched on the balance sheet. And I think that uh, just the fact that the DGCA has asked them that they can only fly 50% of their capacity for the next one month till October 29th is a big negative because, you know, there is a big travel boom and they just can't, um, you know, make advantage of that, take advantage of that. Take that point. And, uh, you know, that's that's reflected in the, the way the stock has uh, corrected from the peak as well. And now down another 4% in today's trading session.